Oh man, do these stocks look good. We're going to break down the energy stocks in this video and go over about, I think I have six or seven on here on my list. We're going to break down the charts, go over my thoughts on energy. We'll break down oil as well. So sit back, relax, take a sip of your coffee and let's dive into the video guys. And by the way, if you want free stocks, who doesn't like free money, use those links down below 15 stocks from Moomoo and 12 stocks from Weeble. Again, it's free money. It also helps out the channel guys, full disclosure. And with that being said, let's dive into the video. So the first one we have to break down here is Diamondback Energy. You guys can see it right here. Ticker symbol F-A-N-G. Diamondback Energy right now ended up going up about 4% on Friday. And just in the past day or two, it has completely started to break out. And don't get me twisted or don't get it. Don't get it twisted. You guys know what I mean. It has been breaking out. It's actually been moving out of these moving averages for a good, um, you know, couple of weeks, two, two and a half weeks. But we finally, as of the past day or two, broken out of this key resistance, not only from the past couple of months, but really from the March month throughout the middle of May. It's right around uh, 145. You guys can see that. We struggled there in March. April, May, also pretty much throughout, uh, you know, these past couple of months. And we did have a one-off rip here in the stock. It went to 163 bucks, but then it fell all the way to 100. It lost about 35%, which was pretty big, a pretty big drop in just about a month. And it's obviously been recovering since then. And, and again, we broke 145. So by the looks of it, guys, Diamondback Energy is is trying to fill the gap to about 160, 165. That was that one-off high from the beginning of June. And this company reports earnings in the next two weeks on the 7th of November. So Diamondback, I like it. This is freshly breaking out. It's looking good. There, there's probably going to be more upside in my humble opinion. And let me tell you guys this right here in the beginning of the video. All these stocks are for trades, short-term trades, whether it's a week, couple weeks, couple days even, right? That That's how I'm looking at these uh, the, these stocks, not necessarily for a five or a 10 year long-term investment. So keep that in mind. And let's talk about some other ones. We have Exxon, which I think just now broke out. Yeah. Just now, as of yesterday, as of Friday and, and even Thursday a little bit, uh, it started breaking out, but really on Fridays is, 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 was the big day. It went up 2%. It broke out of 100 uh, if you guys remember, we talked about 105 bucks on the channel. That was the high from the beginning of June when it seems like a lot of these um, energy stocks ended up peaking, at least for that uh, for that point in time. We took that point out. We hit $106. And if I pop up the max chart, I think I covered this with you guys a couple videos ago, you can see we are now approaching the highs uh, from the all-time high being 117 bucks from 2008. We're talking uh, back in 2008, 14 years ago. And another reason why this move on Friday for Exxon was big is because it also successfully took the high out from 2014, which we talked about, um, you know, a couple of videos ago, probably about about a week ago. So that's good. That's very good news, guys. So I think. Exxon's got upside to 115 bucks, 110, 15 in the short term, and we'll see what it does from there. And I do believe they report earnings, um, yeah, this upcoming week. So they're reporting uh, this upcoming week. And make sure to subscribe, guys, because tomorrow on Sunday we're going to be going over even more stocks. We have a lot of companies reporting this week. A lot's going on, so you're not going to want to miss the content this week. Make sure to subscribe, and while you're at it, hit that like button on this video as well. I appreciate you guys as always. So Exxon's this week, er, uh, earnings-wise, is breaking out. Keep your eyes on it. Chevron is another one. CVX is the ticker. Let's see here. CVX went up 2.5% on Friday, and clearly it is breaking out above the moving averages. We took the highs out from Ju uh, July, June, uh, August, early September, being about 160, 65 bucks. We're now in the mid 170s, so that broke. And by the looks of it, on this three-year chart, let me pull it up. You guys can see, even on the yearly chart, probably uh, you'll see it better. Yeah, on the one-year chart, we're in this channel, clear as day, right? And now, again, that we broke 165, we're pretty much in that last um, leg up to get to the top of the channel, which would be anywhere from 180, 85 bucks, maybe even higher from there. So this company's probably reporting soon as well. Let me see here. This week coming up, yeah, same day as Exxon, we have Chevron. And if they do well, guys, 
Do not be surprised if we see this at 180 bucks. And at that point, honestly, it's going to be pretty overbought. You could even make an argument that it's overbought now, which it kind of is according to the RSI. Uh, but still, you, you'd be surprised how far momentum uh, could take stocks, which is why you don't only look at the RSI. Sure, the RSI is hot, but Exxon, again, or, uh, Exxon and Chevron, momentum could take these higher. You never know. So keep your eyes on Chevron, Exxon, Diamondback Energy. There's more, guys. Oh, wait, there's more. We have Devon Energy, DVM. This is another one. Devon Energy, we have this inverse head and shoulders that pretty much played out. You guys see that left shoulder head, right shoulder. We have this point right here, $75, which has been resistance for a good two months pretty much at this point. If that is able to break, we have a little gap to fill to about $79, $80. That was the high from the beginning of June when it went again. A lot of these energy stocks, if not all of them, well, I can't say all of them uh, because I'm sure not all of them peaked at the same time exactly, but a lot of them did uh, in the beginning of June. And, you know, at this point, if 75 breaks, we're probably going to fill that gap to 80. That's a 4 or 5% move. Then that is where the even bigger move could come uh, on Devin DVN here. If it breaks 80, I'm not sure what the all-time high is, but it could be going a lot higher here. And, and they have earnings coming up on the 2nd of November, which I believe is not next week, but the week after that. We'll see. I think it's early, um, not this week, but next week, right? So Devon Energy, you got to watch it. And let me see, when is the all-time high for this thing? Uh, where was it? 127 bucks. Wow. So this thing is actually well off the highs right now. And those were hit back in 2008, I'm assuming. Yeah, 2008, the highs from 2014 were at about 80. So yeah, I mean, 80 bucks is going to be big. Not only is that the high from a couple months ago, but also from 2014. If that is able to break on Devon here, we break 80. 90, 95, that's the high from 2011, yeah, 2011, May 2011. Then if that were to break, then we're talking all-time highs, which, again, we are well off those highs, guys, well off those highs. We're super far away, uh, but who knows? I mean, th these energy stocks, at the end of the day, could have a lot more upside for all we know. I mean, we don't really know what's going to happen these next three to six months, nine months, 12 months. We shall see, but DVN is one that I'm looking at, uh, especially if it breaks 75, 80. I think there's going to be a lot more upside. So what else do we have here? Occidental Petroleum. Let's see what that's looking like heading into this week. And this is OXY, by the way, uh, the ticker. They report earnings on the 8th of November, so they're definitely not this week. Might not, not even be the week after this. Um, either way, within the next two, two and a half weeks, we have Oxy reporting earnings, and they went up 3.5% on Friday, closed at about 71, 72 a share. And what you're noticing here on this stock, guys, is 72 has been a sticking point ever since end of uh, you know May early June we did have a one off rally it got to about 77 which lasted a couple days uh, but other than that 73 72 has been a sticking point so if we do take that out 72 guess what guess what I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking this goes to 77 75 77 five six percent move <clears throat> that's what we could be seeing on oxy so i like it watch out for it guys mro is another one uh, marathon we've covered this a lot on the channel this is marathon oil but the reason why i'm covering these stocks again and putting them on your radar is because of how or, or how the charts are looking and the fact that we're slightly breaking out we're starting to see the pop in a lot of these like exxon's popping this one's starting to peak out here of you know 28 80 uh, 29 bucks that's a big resistance you know this could end up Going to the low 30s by the looks of it, you know, with uh, how this chart's um, lining up. You know, we're above the moving averages. We have a golden cross. We just broke the wedge here. We took the highs out from the, the beginning, middle of September. Now we're starting to break out of the highs from, you know, the end of April, early May, also from a couple weeks ago. So Marathon Oil setting up pretty nicely. They have earnings on the 2nd of November. There could be a big move coming, low, mid 30s on the stock. That is what I'm thinking. So keep your eyes on it. MPC is another one. I think this is the last stock that we're going to go over. Then we'll talk about crude oil very quickly and see kind of where that's at technically. Uh, Marathon Petroleum went up 2% on Friday. And look at this. It's breaking out of the wedge. We have a golden cross above the moving averages. Now we clearly fill the gap to $114 pretty much. We're right there, which was that high from the beginning of June. If that breaks, 114.15, let's see the max chart. Uh, it's already at all-time highs by the looks of it. If that breaks, 
we're probably going even higher, 120, 25, 130. Who knows where the next leg up is going to take us here in these energy stocks? I mean, we, we have no idea. For all we know, there, there could be a lot more upside, and some of these could be going to their 08 highs, which some of them beat or you know already passed their, their 08 highs, but a lot of them aren't. And that's when you know the last time we really saw these energy stocks really start to take off. And they've done well up to this point, but there could be even more upside, in my opinion. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Let's see what oil's at. I think it's at 85 barrel. Yeah, this is really, it's not done much of anything recently. The past couple of days, at least, it's just been chilling. 80, 83, 85 a barrel. It went to 87 a little bit. But ultimately, uh, it's in the mid-80s right now. And like I said before, guys, in, in recent videos, I'll say it again, though, for, for all you watching this one, this needs to pick direction. Whether it's we break out of 87 a barrel on the upside, that's where we hit pretty much a couple days ago. That's a resistance. From there, mid-90s could be around the corner. Or do we dump and take the lows out from the 18th of this month? Being about 81, we go under 80 a barrel, which at that point, 75 right around the corner, which I believe, or 76, is the low from a few weeks ago, uh, and it's the low as of now. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button as well if you all found value in this video, and feel free to subscribe not only to this channel, but I have a second channel called Stas Talks Money. I'll leave a link down below. Check it out, and don't forget to get your 15 stocks from Moomoo and your 12 stocks from Weeble, and to check out my Patreon. All those are linked down below, and with that being said, cheers, guys. I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.